Hello. This is Meizu with another video on Databricks. Today I will do a very quick video on how to efficiently navigate the Spark UI the very easy way. And I hope it's useful and helpful for anyone watching. For example, if we have a notebook, I just have a simple notebook where I'm reading some data or creating some data, selecting from it, filtering, and let's say I run this notebook. As you can see, each based on the cell whenever i have an action it will trigger a spark job as we know data breaks or spark is lazy lazy evalu evalu evaluated so if we really want to understand what's taking long what step what went wrong in your in your execution of this notebook one of the very first places I would like to go in the Spark UI is first navigate to the compute, go to the cluster that you are using, go to Spark UI, and first you will see the jobs, but I don't go here because it's confusing. It's a bit confusing. First, it's better to go to the SQL tab, slide data frame tab. This is a lot better because this is the highest level of, you could say the queries that are being run or, or generated by uh, by uh, the Spark UI, the, the logs that are being generated is organized at this level that's the highest level you could get you don't get a notebook level but you can get in the logs each sql query that triggers a job you can get at that level and here i can see exactly the some details about the code I see some part of the the SQL query that I ran, and let me see if I can see. If, so I, I ran this some of this statement multiple times, so I, I see the SQL query. So this helps you to identify what SQL query is running. If it took a long time, you could see the time here. Now, if you want to drill down, I would then click on it on the link, hyperlink. Let's click this one. And once I click that, I get a high level overview of the execution plan from the point of how they did create the physical plan to uh, spin up the Spark jobs. As you can see, this particular query, a simple select statement spin up, sp spinned up uh, two jobs. And for these two jobs, I have the, the execution plan, as you can see. And then I have some details here. I can see the detail physical plan here and all that. So from here, I can drill into the specific jobs, the specific uh, Spark jobs. So if I click on job 22, once I'm in the job 22, it moves me to the job tab. 
and I, I can now see the different stages. As we know, the stages are, this is created one stage, but you should know that anytime there's a shuffling involved, it needs to create a different stage. So for this stage, I can see the, 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 the dark visualization of what went on and I see the same query but if I want to see the details of at the tax level then I can click the link again I can see the summary here is just one tax that was needed so I'll click this and then I get the DAG for the tax and uh, this is showing me the details of this stage telling me uh, for the details of this stage I'm seeing exactly the executors that Will spawn for this and the details of the executor how many tags this way you see how many tags were used as you can see it only did one use one tax to accomplish this stage so and the tax is the lowest level of execution in a spark and that's how to do it you can also go to executor tab while the job is running to see the active tags see if especially for long running jobs i normally can just go directly to executor tab and just see if am i having a skill is one stack stock that is taking too long while the rest is completed that will help me understand if there's something going on with my cluster or, or the data is 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 skewed and finally i'll make another video about the metrics tab i think it's very important to under, also understand your utilization how to save cost and make sure that you're sizing your clusters appropriate, appropriately. Thank you. That all is all I have. I hope this makes sense and helps you navigate your uh, Spark UI effectively.